Hey friends, hello, welcome to Mentor Vikas channel. And in this video, we are going to learn about how we can create both endpoint and a page on the same uh, section. Okay, same section means are in the same file. And this is quite interesting that you can't find this deadly combination anywhere or in any framework, right? But Quick gives you this ability to even create both your pages and your endpoint in the same file. Okay, so how we can do this? As you can simply see this, uh, we will we, we are going to we, we are going to even implement uh, we are even going to see how we can implement and do all all these step by step. But for now, if I, if you are just willing to understand quickly how all this works, let's 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 understand this. Okay, so we just have to do what we exactly we have to do we don't have to do anything which we don't know we just have to use the same what we had learned till now okay so basically we just have to create our component so to create our component we just have to import this component from builder.quick okay builder.io.quick and we have to use our request handler and this request handler is is we are going to use to create our endpoint right and this component uh, we are going to use to create our component okay as as you can see in our previous video we had created our first endpoint uh, where we are we are instead of using that tsx extension i had just used ts right but now in this video we have to create both right so whenever you are you are just willing to create both in a same file you have to use tsx right instead of just ts you are you have to use tsx right so basically by specifying this we are also have that ability to create both at the same page right so as you can see here 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 we have our hello world component so whenever i am just trying to access this path okay this out so it so as in our case this is our uh, base domain okay this is our our home page right okay root domain right so whenever we are just going to our root endpoint right so we are just going to see our hello world message hello world message h1 tag to do to be displayed on on our um, page right and at the same point i am also going to create an endpoint at the uh, at, at endpoint here at this uh, at this root section at this root endpoint right and uh, here i just use this request handler just to specify okay here i'm just going to create an endpoint and instead of that specifying okay whether it is a get request or post request or a kind of request so here we just uh, specify okay it's a request right so it's a it's a request it's an endpoint and to specify this we had just used on request so whenever someone requests on this endpoint it should be handled by the uh, functionality or the module provided by builder.quick slash quick city and here uh, we are just going to destructure all these so what what we are just going to access here we are just uh, going to try to access all the headers which is coming from uh, which is being received by this endpoint we are just uh, willing to have all the query parameters which is being passed to this endpoint and we finally want to uh, basically uh, give a response in the json format okay so to to add that functionality to send the data into the json format we had just used json we also used json okay so by using all this so firstly we what we had uh, by using this header what i had created so we just want to set the header uh, of the response uh, of the response okay so in uh, to set the header we had used this headers dot set and here we just um, set the value of cache control to private right in the same way uh, we also just want to get the queries right and we are just trying to check here okay if if in the query if we have this format okay this format attribute and it's if its value is json then it should uh, then it should give me this uh, json uh, we, we are just setting a status code to 200 and finally uh, giving the data uh, which is uh, which is in our case is a simple object okay and in this object we have this um, message key and this message key holds a value which is hello world okay so this is all uh, we have to do just to create both 
um, uh, a component and a endpoint in a same file. So now we are just going to do the same or all of these in our own component. Okay, so to do that, I just have to go to our VS Code editor and here in this section, as you had, as in our earlier video, we had just created our first endpoint in this API folder, right? So now I am instead, I am just going to create um, instead of creating that um, that component or or this new route to this API, I am just going to create one more folder. Okay, and this is here. I'm just going to name this like combine uh, hybrid component, right? So let's make this. Let's name it hybrid. H Y B R I D, right? And in this hybrid component, in this hybrid uh, folder, I'm just going to create my index.tsx, tsx, right? So firstly, I am more willing to create a component. So at initially, I'm just going to create a component, kocomp. By using this snippet, I'm just going to create my first component. And instead of this, I'm just going to uh, export this for, as uh, export default export default this component and th this is basically renders this hello quick uh, to my component to my endpoint right so instead of just this hello quick uh, let's change this to hybrid component right so i'm just going to replace this text with a hybrid component h y h y h y b r i d hybrid component component right so let's Let's check it out if if we have uh, this component rendered on this hybrid path or not. Okay, so to do that, I have just going to change my endpoint from API to hybrid, right? Let's change this to hybrid, HYBRID. And now we have this hybrid component. Um, so now we have our hybrid component. So now uh, what we are more willing to do is to create an endpoint also in the same file. So to do this, as we had earlier seen this, we have to request, uh, we have to import a request handler from builder.io slash quickcity, right? So let's uh, import this request handler, request handler, right? And now we have this request handler and uh, to create this endpoint, I just have to, uh, let's create a simple function, okay? And to name this function, as you can see here, uh, I'm just going to use this on request. Okay, so I'm just going to give a name that is that on request and uh, sorry on request R E Q U E S T and this on request basically specify uh, that um, by by defining its type uh, the output the output type. So basically here we had defining the type of the output which we are going to receive from here okay and this is being handled by the quick city okay uh, okay great so even if if i am just want to access this uh, function to my this endpoint so i have to also use this use that export keyword right and after doing all this only i have to just create just a simple function as we do uh, so this is our simple function, right? And in our case, we are just going to access uh, our header, right? So let's access the header and uh, I'm just also going to access the queries. So I'm just going to access this query and let's finally JSON. Okay, just simple. And after all, after doing all this, I'm just going to give a check here if the query, if in our query, uh, we have something like uh, if in our query we uh, have this format okay if in our query we have this format and this format is equals to json then uh, then um, give uh, then return this value okay then this uh, then return this data right so let's do this so to do that if json dot uh, get so if if query dot get uh, then i have to just specify like what uh, what is uh, that i i'm i'm trying to access from my query let's not use this format but use the type okay instead we are just going to use this type right 
and uh, now I'm just going to specify that if it is JSON, if the type is JSON, right, then we have to return something. So then we just want to return. So instead, you can also use return or you can simply use JSON, right? You can simply use JSON. And uh, firstly, we just the first parameter is our status code. So our status code is 200. And that second parameter is whatever we want to send, right? So let's send a JSON, uh, send a, an object. And in this object, we have uh, our key is data and the value. Uh, which is hold by this data key is uh, this is this is hybrid data h y b r i d hybrid b r i d wait i don't know spelling b r i d maybe uh, data let's not focus on that spelling part right and uh, let's see uh, if this is going to work or not Let's go to the same endpoint which we had just. Uh, so in our case, this is our contact. Is it contact or hybrid? Okay. So in our in our case, this is hybrid. As you can see, if I just click this or just um, uh, hit this endpoint, and if I am just going to uh, see, um, okay, if I am getting this data or not. As you can see, I am not getting this data. But if I am just going to change. If I'm if I'm just uh, going to pass some uh, kind of um, query in my in my in this endpoint, then you will find something is going to happen. Let's give this type JSON, right? Let's give this type of JSON, and if I am just going to hit this endpoint here, you will find instead of uh, instead of accessing this component, this this component, I am now going to access this. I am just I am I am I am now going to access this endpoint as a as an API as an API endpoint. Okay, so as you can see, we can use the same file to create our API to, to or create our API endpoint, and at the same time, we can also use the same file to create our component. So so this is the hybrid model which is being introduced in QuickJS in QuickCity. So you can you can use the same file to even create your component and at the same time you can use that same point to create your page and your endpoint. OK, so as you had as as you had seen that uh, we had done all this and if you are uh, as, as, as you may want to willing to know how we can use this header. So we are just uh, we, are, we are just going to uh, use the same approach like uh, we are just going to set the header and um, let's use the same okay so in our header i am just going to set my content type to application slash json right so let's check this out if it is going to work as to work or not so if i just going to uh, hit uh, this endpoint once again and as you can see here let uh, let, let me give you a uh, insight let's hit this endpoint and now we have this and as you can and if you just go to this header section let's and bring it to uh, some level of zoom so now you can see this in our header section if you just go to the header we have our content type application slash json okay so if i'm just going to change this uh, to something like different for example in our case application slash text then if i just going to change i'm uh, going to hit this endpoint once again you will find the header the head part is going to change to uh application slash json okay why it is not changing let's hit, hit this once again and uh, i just want to specify uh that okay application slash text it is not uh, being changed why it is so uh, do we had done everything right yes we had done everything right so uh, we just set our context dot type okay let's uh, in our case let's let's add some new parameter to our header section right so let's uh, add a new parameter that is type 1 in our header right and this the value of this type one is a uh, new type right 
so now we just have to going to check this if this is going to be um, added into our header section or not let's refresh this page once again and uh, now if i am just going to access this and go to this header section here we will find that we have this type one attribute and its value is new one okay so the simple thing is that uh, because of here we had specify uh, that uh, the format that we are going to um, give in our apply in our case is 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 this json format so that's why it is it it by default set uh, the type of the header to application slash json right okay so let's even go with some another example uh, so let's let's finish it here uh, so i think now we have a clear understanding of how we can do all this right and uh, hope to see you in our next video and have a nice day and goodbye.